What's going on everybody? This is Brian from sneakerfiles.com and in today's video I'm going to go over all of the Air Jordan and Nike release dates for the month of April. Now before I jump into things like always greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new here make sure to subscribe by hitting the button below. Now for Nike this is all of the releases confirmed so far but more than likely there's going to be more added in so in the case that it does I'll make another news video as well. It will be updated on sneakerfiles.com. Same thing with Jordan brand. Everything is confirmed at the time of recording. But again, there is a possibility it could get moved. So that will be updated on the website as well as an upcoming news video. Also, there is two links in the description below which will take you to our Air Jordan release dates page as well as our Nike release dates page which will be updated there as well. Now with that out of the way, let's get into it. From Nike, we have two pairs that are expected to debut in April. However, we don't have a release date for them. One of those is the Nike Air Flight Hirachi OG, which features a white, varsity purple, royal blue, and minta color combination. As you guys already know, this is the OG colorway, and they're expected to debut sometime in April for 120. Now, the next pair is the Nike SB Dunk Low Midnight Navy, and from what I'm hearing is that retailers in Canada and other locations outside of the U.S. are starting to get pairs right now. So it looks like a release will take place in April. Also, the retail price on this pair is 110 On April 1st, we'll have two LeBron releases. The first is the Nike LeBron Next Gen in white. Now, Finish Line did release them early, but I believe they pulled them because they now have them listed to debut on April 1st as well as other retailers and the retail price will be 160. The next pair is the Nike LeBron 20 Racer Blue. This is a grade school exclusive and it features Racer Blue, Black, and Vivid Purple. Now this pair drops also on April 1st and the retail price will be 160. Nike Sportswear will expand on the color of the month series with a new Nike Air Force One Low. This pair is known as University Red and it features a simple University Red and White color combination. Now, this pair drops on April 1st. The resale price will be $150. I've seen them on the sneakers app so you can get them there as well as many other retailers. CDG and Nike will also come together to release a small pack on the Nike Terminator High. So a total of three colorways will release, which features white navy, white and red, and white and black. Each pair has OG vibes. They'll also feature CDG and Nike branding on the left and right heels, respectively. So for those that wanna purchase, they will be available at Dover Street Market and CDG locations on April 1st. The retail price is 235 each. April 4th, we have another Nike Dunk Mid set to release. This pair is known as Coconut Milk, and it features a Coconut Milk, Vivid Orange, Celestial Gold, Plum Eclipse, Cell, and Night Maroon color combination. Now, like I mentioned, the pair will drop on April 4th. You can get them on Nike.com, and the retail price will be 115 in April, Nike Sportswear will release an Atlanta pack, which will consist of the Nike Dunk Low and the Nike Air Force One Low. Now, in my opinion, both are clean. However, more than likely, people are going to flock to the Dunk Low over the Air Force One. The two feature the same colorway as well as the same blocking in University Red and Bright Crimson. We also have ATL by the Hills. Both pairs will release on April 4th, and the retail price will be $120 each. You can also grab them on the sneakers app. Now, there's a possibility that one of these Nike LeBron 20 releases could move, but currently we have the black and gold pair, which features a black, metallic gold, white, and pure platinum colorway scheduled to release on April 6th. Now, on that same day, we have the uninterrupted Nike LeBron 20 Speak Your Truth, which features a black, coconut milk, and hyper royal color combination. Now, like I mentioned, both will debut on April 6th. I am seeing that the grade school sizing for the LeBron 20 in black and gold are popping up on release calendars. And for the uninterrupted pair, I'm also seeing that just the shoe in adult sizing is popping up on release calendars. So like I mentioned, there is a possibility that one pair could move, but for now, April 6th is the release date for the two and the retail price will be 200 each. 
April will also have a lot of dunks releasing. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Nike Dunk Low Pink Foam. This pair features a pink foam, pure platinum, and phantom color combination. This is also a women's release, and it comes constructed with suede. Now, this pair is scheduled to release on April 6th for 120 also dropping on April 6th is the Nike Dunk High Gold Canvas. This pair features a Team Gold, Wheat Gold, Team Gold, Safety Orange, and White color combination. Like I mentioned, April 6th is the release date and the retail price will be $125. Now, I received this release date from my sources. It's the Nike Air Force One Low for Horsemen, and this shoe features a white, deep forest, and wolf gray color combination. This will be the first time that the shoe releases to the public. Nike created this shoe in 2003 to celebrate LeBron signing to Nike. Currently, I haven't seen them pop up on release calendars, but like I mentioned, my source did give me the release date, which is April 7th, and the retail price will be $150. Expected to release in February, this shoe, the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 Penny PE, actually did, but it was outside of the U.S., and now we do have a U.S. release date, which will take place on April 7th. I know there's a lot of people waiting for this shoe to release. And the retail price will be $240. One of the spots you can get them at is on the Sneakers app. I know there's a total dunk craze going on. It's actually been going on for a few years now. But are people actually feeling the Nike Dunk Mid? Personally, I like the SBs. They're a lot more comfortable in my opinion. But for those that do like the model... We got another pair dropping in April, which will come in the Panda color combination. So we have white, black, and cell used throughout, and they will drop on April 11th for 115 After releasing overseas, the Nike Dunk Low Setsubun will finally debut in the States. So just a little update, Setsubun, also known as the Bean Throwing Festival, is the day before the beginning of spring in the old calendar in Japan. It's customary to throw handfuls of dry soybeans to scare away demons while chanting demons out, good luck in. So this pair is currently on the sneakers app and they're scheduled to release on April 11th for 120. Undercover also has two more Nike mock flow releases. One will come dressed in black and the other will be dressed in L Brown. Not as flashy as his previous drops, but the two will debut on April 12th via the sneaker zap, and the retail price will be $160. Dropping in women's sizing is the Nike Air Max 1 Co.JP Michigan. So this shoe features a Midnight Navy, Varsity Maze, and Natural color combination. I haven't seen this pair pop up on release calendars yet, but currently they're scheduled to release on April 14th for $160. Also dropping in the middle of the month is the Nike Air Max 1 Mica Green. This shoe features a white, mica green, photon dust, and black color combination. Expected to release in min sizing on April 14th for 150 Another pair expected to release this month, although I haven't seen them pop up on the release calendar yet, publicly that is, and that is the Nike Zoom Vapor Tour AJ3 Racer Blue. Originally, this shoe was being called True Blue. It does have similar color blocking, although the shade isn't quite right. And currently, they are scheduled to release on April 17th for 180 Originally expected to release on April 1st, the Nike Ja 1 Day 1 will now debut on April 19th. I see them on the release calendars. However, it looks like that they may only release an adult in grade school sizing. That isn't confirmed. But those are the only two size range I'm seeing listed. And the retail price will be $110. Run the Jewels will also collaborate with Nike SB to release the SB Dunk High and the SB Dunk Low. Now, both are said to release on April 20th. However, what I'm seeing going around is that one pair will actually release before the 20th. And then the other pair will debut on the 20th. I believe it's the low that releases first and then the high will debut on the 20th. Although that isn't confirmed. It's just what I've been seeing going around. But as soon as I have more information that will go into the following news video. The rollout of the Nike Air Vapor Max 2023 Flyknit will take place in April. Now originally the two were expected to release on April 6th. But now most retailers have them listed for April 20th. So we have a pair known as Oreo. This shoe features black cell and anthracite, 
And then the second pair is known as pure platinum and the shoes come dressed in pure platinum in white. So both pairs will debut on April 20th and the retail price is 210 each. Another Nike Jaw 1 is set to release this month, although it's possible it could get pushed and it's the Nike Jaw 1 Phantom. This shoe features a Phantom, Action Green, Action Grape, White, Laser Orange, and University Blue color combination. Currently scheduled to release on April 27th for 110. This is a shoe I'm going to go over more in an upcoming news video because it was just leaked, but it's the Nike Air Max 1 Premium Denim Leopard. This shoe features a medium blue, white, university gold, picante red, metallic gold, and desert ochre color combination. At the time of recording, the shoe is scheduled to release on April 28th for 160. From Jordan brand, the first release of the month is the Air Jordan 11 Low White Cement. Now this pair features a white university blue and cement gray colorway and will debut on April 1st for 190 in adult sizing. They'll also drop in grade school sizing for 150, preschool will cost 80, and toddler sizing will retail at 70. In my opinion, I would hold off on these if you like them. This and a lot of others I believe will go on sale. We recently got a first look at the Air Jordan 5 Low GS Desert Berry. Now this pair is also known as Fundamental. Again, I'm not sure why they're nicknamed Fundamental, but that is what the brand is calling them behind the scenes at least. And they feature a white coral chalk Desert Berry in black color combination. So this pair drops on April 4th. The retail price is 125 in grade school, 80 in preschool, and 60 in toddler sizing. For those who play golf, the Air Jordan 6 Low Golf Bordeaux will also debut in April. This pair is said to be inspired by Michael Jordan's favorite beverage, and they feature a simple white and Bordeaux color combination. A few things that stick out is that they feature cherries on the lace locks and water texture on the ankle. This pair will be available on Nike.com for $220. Also, if I forgot to mention, they will drop on April 4th. Jason Tatum's first signature shoe, the Jordan Tatum 1, will also debut in April. This will be the first colorway of his signature line to release, and it's known as Zoo. This pair comes dressed in a black, metallic gold, university red, and beach color combination. Scheduled to release on April 7th, this pair will be available in full family sizing. So we have the adult priced at 120, grade school at 90, preschool at 75, and toddler sizing at 55. Expected to release in March, the Air Jordan 1 High OG Skyline didn't debut in the States. However, they did drop at select retailers overseas. However, if you do want to buy them, the good news is that a stateside release is now scheduled for April 8th. The retail price will be 180 and like I mentioned in previous videos, this shoe will only be available in men's sizing. Also, the inspiration is the Chicago Skyline that is used on Nike's promotional card, also known as Jordan's rookie card. Originally being called Atmosphere and then being called Easter, the Air Jordan 2 Low Seersucker will debut on April 8th. The shoes feature an Atmosphere, Pell Vanilla, White, and Photon Dust color combination, and this pair comes with Seersucker textile across the upper. Like I mentioned, April 8th is the release date and the retail price will be 150. Now, this isn't confirmed, but it looks like these are only dropping in men's sizing. I know a lot of people are waiting for the Air Jordan 1 High OG Lucky Green to release and that will take place in the middle of April. The shoes take inspiration from the 2009 DMP pack. There's a few changes between the 2009 pair and the 2023. And for this year, it'll feature Nike Air on the tongue and won't have a Jumpman on the heel. They also come with two sets of laces and they are scheduled to release on April 15th. They will be available in full family sizing. We got adults priced at 180. Grade school will cost 140. Preschool will cost 85 and toddler sizing will retail at 70. We have another colorway of Jason Tatum's first signature shoe releasing in the month of April and is known as the Jordan Tatum 1 Archer Ave. So this shoe pays tribute to Archer Ave in St. Louis, Missouri, the place where Jason Tatum was born and raised. The pair comes dressed in white 
University Red, University Blue, and University Gold. And this pair will debut on April 15th. Also dropping in full family sizing. And the adult pairs will cost $120. Grade school costs $90. Preschool costs $75. And toddler sizing will retail at $55. In 2023, we have two washed variations releasing. One is known as Washed Black, aka Washed Heritage, but the first one to release is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Washed Pink. This shoe features an atmosphere, white, muslin, and cell color combination, and this will debut in women's sizing, which will retail at 180, but they'll also drop in preschool at 85 and toddler for a retail price of 70. This pair is scheduled to release on April 22nd. Another shoe that I'm seeing a lot of people waiting to release is the Air Jordan 13 Black Flint. Basically what they did here is they took the color blocking from the Air Jordan 13 Flint, but instead of using a shade of blue, they're using black. So this pair features a black, university red, flint gray, and white color combination, and they will debut on April 22nd. And like most anticipated, they will be available in full family sizing. So adults will cost 200, Grade school will retail at 140, preschool will cost 80, and toddler sizing will cost you 60. Probably the most hype release for the month of April is the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low OG Olive. Now, just a heads up, this is a women's exclusive release, but they will be available in extended women's sizing. Also, it's being said that this will be the last Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 collaboration we're expecting a Travis Scott Air Jordan 7 collab to debut this year, although I haven't heard any additional details on those. And this pair features a Cell University Red, Black, and Medium Olive color combination. At the time of recording this, April 26th is the release date, originally expected to release in March, but it was delayed. And the retail price will be $150 in women's sizing, that includes extended women's sizing, Preschool sizing will cost 60 and toddler sizing will retail at 50. The last pair to release for the month is the Air Jordan 3 Wizards. Some are calling them True Blue due to the sneakers live. However, this isn't the True Blue pair that we all know. The colorway and blocking mimics that of the Air Jordan 3 PE that Michael Jordan wore while playing for the Washington Wizards. This pair features a white metallic copper, true blue, and cement gray colorway. As you can see, some of the biggest differences on this pair compared to the True Blue is the copper accents. So at the time of recording, April 29th is the release date. This pair will also debut in full family sizing. And we have the adult pairs costing 210, grade school cost 150, preschool cost 90, and toddler sizing will retail at 75. And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, I greatly appreciate you guys for watching. If you haven't done so already as well, appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the button below and turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted whenever I drop a new video. Now, like I mentioned early on, if a release date changes, there is a link in the description below, which will take you to sneakerfiles.com either the Nike release dates page or our Air Jordan release dates page. And it'll be updated there as well. It'll be updated on the homepage and I'll include it in a following news video. Now there's a lot of stuff releasing from Nike. The only thing I'm really eyeing is the Penny PE foam posit from Jordan brand. I really like the Air Jordan three wizards PE as well as the Air Jordan one high OG lucky green. I'll probably try to get the Travis Scott Air Jordan one low OG collab, but more than likely I'm not going to hit it on those. And that's probably it for me for the month of April. Let me know down in the comment section which pairs you plan on going after. As well, if you have any questions, drop that down below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.